G'day fellas, um, I'll just give you a quick overview on the, the laser itself. We've got the uh, H2D belts, they're pretty damn big. Bigger than what they should be for this uh, laser, it really doesn't need belts that damn big. That's the motor drive. There's a dampener on the back of the stepper motor itself. It's a rubber dampener. Uh, that's the lens assembly coming from the right hand side. I just had to make up a little adapter so that it uh, took the laser from the right hand side instead of the left hand side. That's my power and temperature controls. Well, there's another controls, the, uh, the readouts. Right. Ambient thermometer. It's currently at uh, 34 degrees. The laser tube is inside that big uh, housing. This is my uninterruptible power supply, just in case the power fluctuates, which it does a lot in this place. And here's my two octopuses fighting. The DSP board and the gecko drives. It looks really crappy, but it sort of works. It's my water tank, my air assist pump, and just a couple of coolers. Get the water a little bit cool, it doesn't work that effectively. I generally have to put uh, cold water from the fridge, or keep the water cold in the fridge. And the front of the laser where all the uh, inputs are. So I've got my air assist, laser, water pump, and the red diode switch. Computer on and off. Computer reset. Yeah, that's about it. I've also put a limit switch on the actual laser head itself. Uh, that way I can adjust the table size. I've got a stop here that I can just unscrew. I can take it off, slide it anywhere I like, and then adjust the table size to suit in the software. Currently I've got it set at 800 millimeters. That uh, limits my space to work in so I don't have to move all over the table. And it's a lot quicker for zeroing or homing. I've got marks along here so that I know pretty much exactly where I'm going to be on the, the table itself with the stops. That's a little added thing that I've put in, it actually works quite well and saves a bit of mucking around at home time. It's my stepper drive for the y-axis, my second mirror and the outlet hole for the laser beam. That's just to keep the dust away from the tube as much as possible. That's uh, just a quick overview. So, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the help. See you next time.